Hey guys! So, today we're gonna be smashing a Nintendo DS and an Apple TV. But from China. Whoa, check it out. From that gag, I already broke it already. This was supposed to be the release for the battery from this. Will this even work anymore? And this is like even more rattly now. And this came apart. I can just snap that back in, I think. I can't. So you can already tell it's made in China. Okay, so the Chinese Apple TV still works. Okay, so let me tell you about this little streaming box. Its name is the TV Pad. It's actually illegal right now. Before, this could stream live TV stations and news stations. That's why my parents had it. But then someone decided to make it illegal. So right now, it won't connect to anything. And my parents just gave it to me because it won't work. Now what will they do? Pay for channels legally? No, they just bought another one. Its slogan is, bring you TV home. The new one looks even more like an Apple TV. So, the only good app on it right now is YouTube. But playing Rocky 123, why don't you keep it instead of smash it and use it for YouTube? Oh yeah, it's not like I have any other devices that will stream YouTube or do it better than this thing. Actually, it can't even connect to YouTube. I don't know if it's because of the illegal stuff or the Wi-Fi, but right now it can't connect to YouTube. So basically, it's just a brick. It's just such a shame. I was just gonna do a really cool gag where I just pull up a bunch of YouTubers' videos and mock them while I try to break it. What a shame that I can't do that. Hmm, no signal, but the power still seems to be working. Hey look, the IR port still works. Let's see if this device enjoys salt water. It appears that it enjoys it because now all the LEDs are on. You gotta admit, China makes good quality stuff. Okay, next up on the chopping block is this. Will it even work from the first gag? I don't know. The screen is dead, so I can't show you what my childhood looked like. It's basically a Chinese PDA that had a few games on it. My mom would use this to help her pronounce English word as it has a text-to-speech feature. But now it's basically obsolete since the battery is basically dead and she has an iPhone and an iPad. It was pretty cool. It had a touch screen like a Nintendo DS. Right now I'm remembering that this thing had a paint program on it. I would color the whole screen black and then grab the eraser and try to erase it as fast as I can because I dreamed of getting a Nintendo DS to play that uh, Luigi's Mansion ghost hunting game. But of course, the software was really bad, so when I started erasing really fast, the system couldn't keep up, and if you take the stylus off the screen, you could see the eraser trying to follow it. So basically, this thing is worthless now. Oh my god, I got it to work! I got it to work a little bit, it's saying like, welcome in Chinese or something. Okay, so the screen is really white for some reason, so I have to put you up at a higher angle so you can see better. But I can show you what I'm talking about with the text-to-speech. Dictionary. Oh, I screwed up the keyboard so it's typing by itself. I can show you the games. Okay, now tell me, anyone know what ripoff this game is? I vaguely remember this game. <laughs> But I can't play it because I screwed up the keyboard. I think this is a word game. Yeah, I think you have to like... So many childhood memories. I think you have to like spell out a word, but I'm too lazy to try that. Oh yeah, and this is like a ripoff of Galaga. I remember. Like... <sighs> this is a ripoff of Galaga. Okay, I remember this one would never work. I don't know what that says, so... I don't know why it won't work. 
yeah, breakout basically. Okay, and I can show you what I'm talking about with the paint thing. Here's the painting app. Kind of looks like MS Paint. Okay, now I can show you what I'm talking about when I was pretending to play that DS game. Ah, uh, pretend to find the ghost, woo, but I can't because it's so lagging. I'm so glad I got a DS. Now I'm going to show you some cringe-worthy movies on here that was supposed to teach you English or how to be polite or something like that. Pete and Gina talk to Jennifer. Hi Jennifer, you look good. No, not good. You look great. Dang! This will be its last words. Oops, reboot, rebooting. Goodbye childhood. Will it also enjoy water? So thank you for coming with me down memory lane, but now let's make some new memories. Oh my god, that came apart with one little throw. It's the new ultra thin remote. You can't even see it, but watch out, it might break. Oh no. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.